what's going on guys I am John from JFM development and today I have a nice shake and vape recipe for you today we're going to mix up some strawberry Pez yes strawberry Pez I had uh, some flavors that obviously like you guys or a lot of you guys sure already know I got from flavor art and one of them the mad fruit flavor art mad fruit it's supposed to be like a Red Bull type flavor but it really reminded me of Pez candy so what I have come up with is a shake and bake res a shake and vape recipe that I've mixed up already and I've been vaping this actually for going on four days now and it's absolutely wonderful. It's wonderful. Tastes perfect right off the bat. Just a few simple recipes, not too many not too many ingredients, but it actually came out really really well so let's go over the ingredients and get down to the scale and we'll talk about them okay guys so we're here at scale view and you can see my face obviously so the first ingredient that we're using is tfa sweet tart now tfa sweet tart is going to be used to get that sweet tart and build on that pez flavor followed by flavor art mad fruit which I kind of already explained it tastes like a Red Bull slash Pez candy so it really works well with that sweet tart to make that Pez type flavor followed by TFA sour that's kind of self-explanatory that helps build that candy note that sour next up since we're doing strawberry Pez candy we're going to be using Capella sweet strawberry the Pella sweet strawberry because it's more candied. And the next strawberry we're going to use in conjunction with it is TFA strawberry, not strawberry ripe, just regular TFA strawberry because it's more it's more candied to me. If you guys are new to mixing, you probably want to keep a vape on standby. It's really nice to have that with you. Okay, now. Here's a little wrench in the recipe, okay? Something that you normally wouldn't think to put into a strawberry recipe. Or maybe some of you would. I mean, I guess it's not that crazy. But I am using TFA Dragon Fruit. Just a little bit, so it's on the back end. It kind of builds that fruity berry note. It's just hidden in the back. You can hardly taste it, but it tastes wonderful. It worked out perfect, okay? And then... Of course, TFA Marshmallow. Now, TFA Marshmallow is to kind of thicken up the vape a little bit. Give it that marshmallow texture. All right. And last but not least, because it's a candy and because I like to vape sweet juices, I'm using Capella Super Sweet. Not TFA, but Capella Super Sweet. The reason I'm not using TFA is because TFA has maltol in it, and I don't want any muting to go on here. Okay, so... Let's get straight into the mixing. All right, so I'm going to turn my scale on. And the first ingredient we're using is TFA sweet and tart. And today we're making a 30 milliliter batch, okay? So TFA sweet and tart goes in there at 4%, so that's 1.37 grams. 1.37 There we go. TFA sweet and tart is in. And tear that out. Followed by flavor art mad fruit. When just a normal amount of fruit doesn't cut it, you need some mad fruit. I know, I keep saying that joke. It's funny to me. Okay. So this is in that 2%, so it's 0.68 grams. Mad fruit is in that 0.68 grams. There we go. Weaver Art Mad Fruit's in. Tear that out. Next up is TFA Sour. Now TFA Sour, it's an additive. You only want to use that a little bit. So I'm using this at half a percent. So it's going to be 0.17 grams. 
There we go. TFA showers in. Followed by sweet strawberry. And sweet strawberry I have in here at 6%. So that's going to be 2.05 grams. 2.05. Sweet strawberry is a necessary flavor to have. Very good strawberry. Especially used in conjunction with other strawberries. There we go. Love the smell of that. Love the smell of sweet strawberry. It's absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Next up is dragon fruit. TFA dragon fruit. And we have this in at 1%. So just a little bit on the back end. It's going to be 0.34 grams. 0.34 grams. Okay, there we go. TFA dragon fruit is in. Next up, TFA strawberry. I, I chose TFA strawberry because it's more of a candied strawberry. I figured it would go better in a candy mix rather than using ripe strawberry. And I was right. I mean, I've had this for four days. It is a shaken vape. There's no creams. It's a candy-based vape, and it tastes phenomenal right off the bat. So this is definitely a shaken bake. Keep saying shake and bake. Shake and vape. There we go. Okay, so this is in at 3%, so it's 1.02 grams. Here we go. TFA strawberry is in. Yeah, that out. Next up is toasted marshmallow. I put in toasted marshmallow here because one, I've been hooked on toasted marshmallow, but not only that, it actually works well in a lot of different mixes, and it also gives it texture. It thickens it up and it gives it this nice fluffy taste. Okay, so this is at one percent, so it's point three four grams. Point three four. Here we go. TFA Toasted Marshmallows in. Tear that out. Last but not least, I'm using Capella Super Sweet. Now, you don't have to use sweetener in your mixes, but again, this is a candy vape for one. And for two, I know the drawbacks of using sweetener, like gunk coils and all that, but personally, I like to vape sweet juices, so that's what I do. I put sweetener in my juices. Some of them I don't, but a lot of them I do because I like it. Alright, so this is not half a percent because it is super sweet it's super concentrated you only need a little bit that's in at 0. 0.17 grams okay there we go that's like four drops that's all she wrote okay let's tear that out next up is the nicotine today i'm using 100 milligram nicotine suspended npg at this concentration, it is considered a poison, so you want to keep it away from children and pets. Also, keep it away from your skin. Uh, the best thing to do is usually wear gloves at minimum, but you want to use as much safety precautions as you can because this stuff is no joke. And I don't mean to preach in any of my videos, but I like to practice uh, safe habits in front of you guys and lead by example and not be one of those guys. But whatever you do in your own home is your own thing. I can't tell you what to do. I just really care, and I want you guys to be careful. So that's up to you. All right. So now what I always do is I take a paper towel and open it like this, because even though it's a twisty top, there's air that pops out every time. Let's, let's see if you can hear it. Oh, it didn't do it that time, but I've had this before. I started using the paper towel. Nicotine will pop up right after I shake it. So that's why I use a paper towel to open it and close it every time. So I'm doing a three milligram, so that's 0.93 grams since it's PG based. 0.93. Okay, there we go. Let's see the reason why I do it afterwards too is because I don't know if you can see, but nicotine fell on the side. 
even though it's a dripper bottle, it still happens. So you do that, you wipe off the top. Now it'll be safe to handle when I don't have my gloves on. And then I just throw that out. Okay, next up is the VG. Tear that out. We're doing a max VG. So we're going to need 27.52 grams of VG. 27.52. Okay, there we go. The VG's in. Now I'm going to take my handy-dandy milk frother that I got from Liquid Barn, and I'm going to mix this bad boy right up. And that's why I mix in the beaker, because it allows me to use this milk frother. It allows me to mix it without having to get all the hand cramps. Basically, you just want to use this until, you, until it starts looking milky. You don't have to go too crazy with it, but... Usually by the time it's milky, that means there's a lot of bubbles in there and you're pretty much good to go. And the best part about this mix is you can vape it right off the bat. It's phenomenal. I do like me some shaken vapes and lately I have been liking candy like my strawberry airhead recipe. I've been vaping nothing but that. Well, actually that's not true. I've been vaping a lot of it, let's just say. I must have gone through... Over 200 mils since I came out with that recipe. Which I can't say about a lot of others because it's just one of those strawberry vapes that like really come to me, you know. See how it's all pretty much milk and frothy now? That's all you need to do. That's pretty much it. And then you put it into a bottle and you're pretty much all set to go. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this shake and vape recipe. I wanted to share it with you guys. It's a really, really tasty mix. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comments below. And thank you so very much for watching, and you guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.